Hey, hey, how are you doing? Home here, and welcome back to some more Rise of the Ronin boss guy. Today we are going to be taking on Shintaro Nakaoka. This is going to be the rifle dude, or the gun guy, I don't know, man. We just use that a lot. So in the beginning of the fight here, you can use this barrel, and if you have negative stats built up as like a passive, uh, it will burn them. But this guy is easy and hard at the same time because a red attack, you parry and then you can use your Izuno drop. If you're using the higher boost over you, style, uh, double, well, sometimes you'll do a double shot. It's either a double shot or a single shot. If you're close enough, you can actually, uh, I, I don't know if you can Izuno drop him if you're up close after parrying his shots. Uh, I just get two hits, two or three hits. If you go for three hits, there's a chance he's, he might attack back like that. So, you have to be careful. Uh, red attack overhead. Sometimes you can do two normals and then go into the red attack overhead. Um, there's also that thing where he does an uppercut with his sword and then he shoots you afterwards. Uh, his shots can be dodged sideways. Um, you can also block it, but be careful with blocking it because the second shot will tend to break your card if you. And you try to go for the blocking version. There's the uppercut shot, so be careful with that. If you take both of those hits, there's a good chance the guard will break as well. Yeah, these guys, uh, this guy's attacks are simple, but they do a lot of key damage. So, yeah, highly recommend you get used to uh, parrying the, the the shots. I mean, I guess you can also do this thing where you bait. So you attack, and then when he gets his attention on you, you switch over to um, your ally, and then you attack him from the side. I think that'll work too. But yeah, this is the method I decided to go with. And here is the status ailment thing that I was talking about. I have it on my rifle. So the negative stats build up. Uh, it's pretty good for burning him with a beginning fire barrel. But yeah, uh, here are my stats. And... Here's the stance that I was talking about. And lastly, here is the difficulty I'm playing on. And yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped if you are struggling against this boss. And if it did, hopefully you all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, hope to catch you later. Homes out.